it's always important to have the academic piece, but students also need more than the academic piece to enhance the academics by bringing in that passion that they have for the art and try to marry, it, marry the arts and the academics together. Because what we've discovered that students who are passionate about their arts and they do well in their arts, they are also able to transfer that achievement into their academics. I came to Co-op Arts High School as a theater major, switched to the dance department probably maybe four weeks into being at the school. Um, through the dance department, um, I was able to then go to Educational Center for the Arts where I met Earl Mosley. He brought me into the fold at the Ailey School and all these other opportunities in dance. Um, from then I went to Morris College where I studied English Literature and Drama with a minor philosophy and I was part of the Spelman Dance Theater. I uh, trained at Atlanta Ballet, all kinds of different dance schools in Atlanta. Um, I then also went to to London where I studied at BADA with the British American Drama Academy. From there on I went to Columbia University where I studied theater management and producing, got my MFA there um, and then I started working at Bronx Community College as the Black Male Initiative Coordinator uh, before I became Arts Director of co -op. I can recall the first year that I was here and the first performance in the main stage and to actually sit there and watch students that you you maybe have not had any conversation with, but you see them in the hall, you see them in their classes, and you just see them walking by to actually get up there and perform. It's just, it just sends chills over you because you're, you're standing there saying, wow, like, you know, just to see all the passion and, and to see students invested in their arts. It's, it's just a crazy feeling that you have. And it's also a proud moment. It's always a proud moment when they perform here because, you know, students, they're so driven and engaged in their art. So we have open houses, we invite families in, we invite community people in to come in and see exactly what we're doing here. Um, we have peer leaders here who are also engaged in that recruitment um, when families come in to see what's happening here. Um, we have videos that we use that we've, um, that students is student driven, that students have um, developed. Um, we show those to families. We also, the district also has a big recruitment um, day where everyone goes to the Phil House in New Haven and families are actually able to come in and see who we are. So that's what we do. We have a number of open houses. We also have shadowing. So we have individual shadowing for students. Um, we have some here today. So what they do is that they sign up, they call the arts office, they sign up and they come in and they shadow a student for the day. Oh, they're very important because it gives us an opportunity to offer other experiences to our students um, that we're not able to offer here. Um, they're, they're, they're invested in the community. Um, we have internships, we have classes, we have everything. So students have a good experience here because it's not, it's not all about the academics and the arts, but it's also about the experience that they have and the community partnerships give us the opportunity to give them those experiences. The after school program is huge. <laughs> it's huge because as I stated earlier that our seats here are populated by the arts and students who come here, they are invested in their arts for four years. So the after big after school program gives them an opportunity to have other experiences, but also to engage in our community partners, with our community partners, with Yale, to see what Yale has to offer. And even though we have the big after school program, a lot of our students who engage in the after school program have other opportunities to be on the Yale campus. They have other opportunities to be on Gateway's campus. They have other opportunities to be on Southern and UNH's campus because it goes beyond just the big after school program. I think that the toughest thing is money. <laughs> it's always money. I mean the money factor. It's always, it's always the money and it's always um, having the money to give students exposure and experiences that you think that they deserve because here at co-op, it's, it's always students first and it's whatever is best for students. So, you know, that's where your community partners come into play. Um, like I said, we have a big partnership with the Schubert. We use a lot of their spaces for performances and those things. And I mean, that's a great experience for students to be on the Schubert stage or any, um, 
any community partner that has a big stage that you know people are used to going to to see famous people as our students would say it's a great opportunity for them to dance on that stage sing on that stage have an acting performance on that stage because I think that what they can use that experience is, is think about other artists that have been on that stage and say here I am you know I'm I'm able to be on the same stage as they are the only thing that we're, we have been having for the last couple of years is that we have a big um, transition program for our ninth graders who are coming in. And it gives them an opportunity not only to engage in the academics, but to also experience their art prior to the school year happening. Um, one of the things that the arts director and I have been talking about is, is expanding that art experience more in the summer because we've basically been focusing on academics to find out exactly where students are academically, but we also understand that we also need to find out where they are as artists because we're, we're about cultivating artists here, so we're thinking about expanding that program. Some of the issues um, that I find in current uh, academic institutions that have arts um, in which students do not audition to get in is that the rigor is not as um, profound as if you went to like let's say a LaGuardia Arts High School where it's audition based to get in you get in based on the scale teachers know that you probably have the, the, the notion to want to pursue this after the four years of study um, and so my, my thing what I'm trying to do at co-op is say regardless of a student wants to perform or be an artist after they leave our school. It is our job to provide them with the tools necessary to make that informed decision for themselves. If we don't have the rigor and we don't give them the tools, and we say just because it's not audition school that maybe some of the kids don't want to do it, we then do a disservice to them if they decide that they, that's something that they want to do. Um, and so we're looking at different curriculums and programs within our school to say, okay, are we living up to that expectation of a college preparatory going culture within the arts just as we do in the academics? And so that is really important to me in terms of strengthening the arts in that way so that we scaffold that sort of need um, to have rigor throughout the four years that students are here. So with all these experiences that our kids here at co-op are having, it gives us an opportunity to push what they're district's priorities are to make them college and career ready, whether it's at a four-year college, whether it's at a two-year college, whether it's at a dance conservatory or whatever, it gives students that opportunity. At least 75% of our students go into post-secondary education. It's probably a lot higher. We do have over a 95% graduation rate, which is awesome, one of the highest in the district. Um, we do also have students, about 10% do decide to go into the arts after, after they leave here. Um, and some of those are individuals who go to performing arts colleges or want to do a minor in the arts or end up taking up a club in, let's say, theater or, or dance. So, really impacting other students in other ways, but it's also encompassing that art background that I have um, to help me along the way, to help them see that you know all these opportunities that are out here that you should be grasping because these are the opportunities that are going to grow you as an adult these are the opportunities that are going to put those tools in that toolbox to make you successful i love this school i mean uh, i love it to the point where i decided to come back very very early in my career to sort of give back my what I've learned in the world and hopefully you know change the life of students here which is reason why I decided you know that I wanted this job I said it when I was a 10th grader here that I wanted to come back and and fulfill the job duties of arts director uh, because of my experience here um, and to see that come to fruition is is quite uh, quite amazing